Um, so I have just a quick little update. I have, oh, to, no. I have an update. I on. saw the title of this and I was like, oh no. So let's just play it. We'll just, it's, 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 we don't need to get the four minutes. We, the, the rest of it's just the typical stuff. Yeah, this is our friend, uh, Earl. This is Dayton Hypernova. Um, it's late at night right now. Um, I'm trying to avoid having a camera on around my family at all when they're awake or when they can hear me. How about just don't do it? That. No. So I'm, no. Very important. For the most part, even though probably a lot of my videos are in daytime, they're usually during some sort of panic situation. I have a camera on and I'm venting. That's usually why I have it on in daylight. Oh, and the video before this was him saying somebody contacted him uh, about he thinks it was Christina Ricci or Dr. Phil. Also, so this guy wears all of these dresses and shit that he wants to eventually sell in his store, mm -hmm. right? So you buy stuff at like, you buy these shitty little dresses at Ross, and then you put them on your flaky, gross psoriasis skin, right? And then he's going to sell gonna them. resell them to yeah. people in downtown Dayton, Ohio. Yeah. This all sounds so well, they, pathetic and they, sad. They call downtown Dayton, Ohio the, the Rome of America. That's true. D-Town. Yeah, it's the best. It's fucking dope. Light at hours at all. Because I'm always risking them seeing me on camera overhearing me. And usually, I don't think they hear me. But that doesn't always happen. And that's why I'm, like, trying to avoid that during daylight hour. Like, the daytime. So basically... Imagine thinking you're interesting, Dayton. Imagine this. Imagine you're making video after video... Thinking, I have to get this information out. People are waiting for this. I'm, well, <laughs> the only reason I'm actually doing this tonight, as far as turning the camera on, isn't for any other specific reason that, that I can really think of right now, other than someone, um, uh, someone contacted me, a text message um, yesterday. I responded. And of course, I posted a video last night about seeing the text message, so I took a, a like a screenshot of it uh, from my iPad. So um, too many details. I replied Nathan. to them, and they talked to me a little bit today on text messaging. But um, considering that this was Fourth of July, uh, kind of part of the Fourth of July weekend or whatever, um, they couldn't talk to me over the phone, so I assume that's just because they're out on vacation or something, but there's someone from, no, their phone number's the New York City area code. New York City? So you're telling me, that, well, no, I get it, Dayton, you know, a lot of these rich new Hollywood producer types, very patriotic. They are. And they would definitely, like, yeah, these, these, these New York City Hasidic uh, producer types would definitely be taking off on 4th of July. Of and, course. And holding that, uh, holding that holiday sacred, very sacred, sacred. Yeah. So I know that much. And I know their name, but I'm not going to say it on here. Um, it's I'll say okay. It you should say it. It's a fake name anyway, <laughs> so nobody cares. What? It's, you're right. You're right. You're right. It's RZ, because I don't know. Some guy like named Ira Shekelstein. <laughs> it's like, it's just, you know it's going to be some kind of dog whistly name. Yeah, his name um, was uh, Ezra Shekel Googleberg. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ. The Darryl. area code, so I know that much. Or Emmanuel Rodriguez, whatever. And I know their name, but I'm not going to say it on here. Um, I'll say the letters RZ, because I don't know. So close. I'll just be that as reference to them. Um, RZ, whoever they are, like that person, um, they texted me from their New York City area code uh, phone number. I, 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 he's falling for trickery that would have worked 20 years ago. Right? I mean, you're right. You're right. He, you wouldn't have a two one two number. Only important, <laughs> only rich New York City types can get their hands on one of those coveted numbers. Or someone with a Google Voice yeah, account. Or literally, just go to Google and I want a two one two number. And they'll give it and to like, you. Right, hang on. You go. Got one laying around. I don't know anybody in New York City fun. that I can think of, unless it's associated to Christina Ricci in any way. They didn't specify Christina Ricci, but they said a celebrity of some kind has. Uh, he really thinks he has like a connection to. He does Christina to Christina Ricci. He met her once in Dayton. But that's God, that, he paid for the I, special I, package. I still, I I still want to know what the fuck happened to Christina Ricci. A lot career. of hand, san hand sanitizer after that. By the way, after she met him. But like, what happened? She fucked on Benjamin. But like, how do you go from being Christina Ricci to doing the Dayton horror? <laughs> 
convention. It is a good point. That's that's a very good. We're point. not talking about like, oh yeah, you know, Comic Con's coming to Tampa, and you're like, all right, well that's a that's a nice town, you know what I mean? No, yeah, of ta- course, we're talking the Dayton, Ohio horror convention. Oh, I can't wait. Oof. Uh, I asked them to reach out to me. I guess so. I mean, essentially, as a leeway or a uh, whatever, whatever the word would be for the middle person in that situation to talk. Um, about what I'm going through uh, at home and everything. So um, I'm assuming it's, I mean, I could be wrong. I don't yeah, know. If so. they, didn't clar- they did not clarify that it's Christina Ricci, so I don't know. But that's the only person I know who... You don't know her! You don't know she her! She knows her, dude. But, like, you don't know her! That's frustrating yeah, to me. Of course. Like, yeah, you know, it's like... They're uh, friends. You know, it's like... Um, I got a I got a call from Los Angeles, and the only one I know from Los Angeles is Chris Evans. So it's like it's got to be him. You right? don't know Chris Probably. Evans. Well, I mean, I met him at a Comic Con one time. Did he even make eye contact with you? He was on the panel. Oh, so he didn't even see you. You were and in the crowd. Was, but he's I'm, he looked at you for a second. He's gonna call and help invest in my boutique. Why do you have all this rope and tape? I'm gonna I'm opening up a motorcycle shop in Dayton, Ohio. Oh, are you and, really? Uh, yeah, and he's yeah. gonna help me. He's gonna be my partner. You know, knows how to contact me. It would be from New also, York. Also, if you maybe. could get me in touch with, uh, I need a daytime TV host too. Steve Wilkos. I got him. Steve, I got him for you. Steve Wilkos. The, the, the bouncer to Jerry Springer who got his own show. That's Steve Wilkos. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Chris Evans. I was letting people know they didn't know who it was. Chris, oh, God. I think they know. You guys have to no, know who Steve Wilkos pe- is. Dude, you will be amazed how many people that are younger is don't the really turn know. around that fast? Yeah, man, it really is. No, I'm for is real. Is he gone already? He's not on TV anymore. Dude, the turn. I see. I don't know because I don't watch that unemployment. Because that's like unemployment hour. No, yeah. it really is. There, there's an un. There's a block of unemployment television. Um, Maury, Maury, all that shit. It's like you're either unemployed or you're homesick from school. It's the only time you watch these the, television shows. The queen of that was Ricky Lake, and then she just left. Remember Ricky Lake? Yeah, Ricky Lake blew up. Uh, who was the? There was they. They just came and went. But I thought Steve Wilkos was like the new guy. Because he would always be like... Oh, uh, no, apparently Steve Wilkos is still on, but he's played like on the WB... Oh, he got syndicated to like the WB networks. I would love that gig, though. That's got to be the oh, of course gig in yeah. the world. You he know? talks, sit down with you, talks with you. Hey, talk to me, big guy. Yeah. What's going on, man? And then like two seconds later, you're going to respect your parents! And then you're like, and cut. Oh, he retired, okay. So Reti- anyway, How do you um, retire from that? It's not like... Eh, he retired. They gave him a the gold watch. NFL, right? They gave him a gold watch. Would you not hang on to that? Would you not cling to of that course, job? Of course. Jerry Springer your- did for... He, I think it's, this is the last year of his show. I think he did it for how many years? I would have been the Jay Leno of daytime television. I would have been destroying all of my competition yeah. and just consolidating my power. All right, so here it comes. Here comes the, the important stuff. I'm, I'm posting this video because they asked me to um, say the words new... Boot goofing. <laughs> That's amazing. They got us a new, <laughs> new boot goofing. <laughs> and when they tell you to say code word, you don't just, he's not, you're supposed to work the code word in naturally. You're not just supposed to just say, they told me to say a code word, the password, secret password. He's not very smart. So, um, he's a very stupid. He's not a smart. He's not a smart lady. Say the words new boot goofing. <laughs> so I'm not sure what that's about. New Is boot. it uh, to clarify? Just new boot like, goofing. Just new boot goofing. He's never been to La Sapateria Bailarina. That's the problem. Video three payments. Three. <laughs> I got a layaway. Three payments. <laughs> what was that? I'm just goofing. Or say it in the video. Oh. <laughs> uh, this jump he does from outside of the <laughs> store. The <laughs> jump. Uh, fuck. So then he feels stupid saying it. Now he. Now what? This is what he says. As a code, and I'm being like the worst at code because I just said it, acknowledging that it's code. So I have no idea if I was supposed to say that. No, that's not what you were supposed to do. You've already failed your audition, Earl. Yeah, seriously. That way or not. <laughs> so I'm doing the worst at this by acknowledging outright that that's code word, but um. And then he uploaded it. I don't know. Anyway, if I'm making a mistake doing it that way, I feel bad. So I don't know if that's the right way to do it. 
uh, I'm pretty naive on this subject. So, yo, frankly, imagine being this terrible at everything in life. Right. Yeah, it it really is. It really is bad. Like, imagine having a son, and it turns out like this, and you're like, man, you couldn't just be one of those weird anime like hentai porn guys. That would have been way better, way more acceptable. You would have found a better community. Just hang out with anime black dudes and play Smash Brothers. Yeah, you know, you can't. You couldn't have fucking bought some Belle Delphine fucking bathwater and called it a day. Yeah. I have no idea. It could just be a troll for all I know. I have no idea. No, it, could like it. it could be. No, it is. Are you sure it's not Dr. Phil's people? I'm not troll. <laughs> I have no idea. And at this point in my life, it's like, whatever, you know? Um, so, I, I was like, I was going Boo through that goofing. one. He's no goofing. He's no goof. Oh, my God. This is just... I'm like, why would they want me to use those words? I kept going in my mind, if it sounds like something, it doesn't sound like anything to me but those words. So, anyway, I'm just getting video... Acknowledging, and I would assume that it has something to do with clarifying the person in the video. So I don't know. Anyway, um, he just mumbles like he's just a squirrely little guy that mumbles to himself nonstop. Now I'm not going to play the rest of the video because the rest of the video he goes back to his typical "They beat me in this house." And the, are you the, serious? Yeah, watch. He does this whole thing, and then once he's done, and and there's no air conditioning in this house. They have like one AC unit in the living room. That's where my older brother is sleeping right now. I am not entering that room because he's an alcoholic mess who beats me in front of anybody. So he, I, mean, I do it, not. He goes right back into know, this. It's so weird. Wake the, the circle asshole. He goes in. She doesn't want to wake. He doesn't want to wake the asshole. Okay. What a hoarder too. And you're right, man. You know, I was thinking that the boutique idea is terrible. But if he is flaking and bleeding. Can you resell that? He's trying clothes? on all of these clothes. Yeah, he of, course he, of course he wears it. Yeah, of course he wears it. It's just disgusting. Just suitcases. Well, thank you, Dayton.